everybody. Hi. Hi. Um, so I just wanted to check in with you guys. Welcome. My name is Xavier. If you are new to our channel, welcome, welcome. Um, so today I am going to do my 12 and 13 week pregnancy update. Oh. So guys, 12 weeks has been so much better. So, so much better. It has been way better than the first like 11 or first like nine weeks should I say that was kind of rough but definitely definitely feeling much better things have kind of like gone in the right direction we moved into a new house um, I'm still a little moody you know I have my ups and downs but for the most part it's pretty pretty good as far as like how I'm feeling as far as 12 weeks went um, so, as far as 12 weeks, um, that's whenever my bump really, really started to pop out and a little bit. So, I'm excited to see that I'm growing and so forth. So, that's always a plus. Um, my nausea has really tapered down, heartburn tapered down, except for certain foods that I eat really, really kind of trigger that heartburn. And you guys know I am not a fan of heartburn whatsoever, but... I definitely feel a whole whole lot better i'm sorry if you guys hear um music in the background kaya is watching dave and ava or no simply something she really likes that show so she's in there watching that and trying to keep her sidetracked while i'm in here trying to film um but yeah so definitely feeling better my appetite has tremendously increased at 12 weeks so now i'm like craving things so that week my husband I told him, I was like, I really want some ice cream, babe. <laughs> so he drove all the way to Cold Stone and got my birthday cake remix without the sprinkles, add marshmallows, because that is like my absolute favorite. And I tore that thing up. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. it's making my mouth salivate as I'm sitting here thinking about it because it is that good to me. But it was good to me before, but it's even more good to me right about now. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Let's see. So, uh, week 13, um, again, feeling good, feeling refreshed. Don't feel as tired as I was. <clears throat> so, I'm a little, uh, week 13, I was a lot more awake. Um, so, I was able to kind of get some things done. I don't know if you guys saw the previous video of the house, but I painted the um, kitchen and I painted the fireplace. But I had like a burst of energy. I was like, yes, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it good. I'm going to make it look awesome. So if you guys haven't seen that video, um, you can check it out on the previous video prior to this. So back to pregnancy. Sorry, my stepson's here too. And he's got his stuff up really, really loud as well. So, but yeah, so week 13 was really, really good. Again, I teeter totter with the emotions. You know, sometimes my husband's like, uh, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm just hormonal, babe, okay? I'm just hormonal, and you're doing things that irritate me, and I understand, you know, that's part of pregnancy. And eventually, I hope that it just kind of like dissipates and he doesn't get on my nerves as bad. But, you know, that comes with the territory. It is what it is. So, yeah, hold that thought one second. Sorry. So, yeah. So that's basically how it went. Um, the hormones are real. They're really, really real. <laughs> I noticed in week 13, it's starting to get like uncomfortable to sleep in certain positions because initially I was a stomach sleeper. So now when I try to, it just feels kind of uncomfortable. Then I have to roll over on my side, but I usually sleep on my left side. So it kind of works out. But but yeah, out of breath, as you can tell, I literally just walked to my door and right back here and I'm already like <sighs> three sheets to the wind. Felt like I just ran a marathon even though I took like a few steps. Um, so yeah, out of breath. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty good. I think uh, last week the baby was a um, size of a, a length of a jalapeno, so like three and a half inches. So now that I think it like doubles or something in size starting uh, this week which is 14 weeks. Yay, second trimester, which I'll talk about next week. Oh, 
so happy to finally be out of that first trimester. Um, other things that I've dealt with week 12 and 13 is constipation. I know it's TMI, but I can't poop. And so uh, I have to now start taking some things to kind of help the flow of things, get it going and, you know, feel a little more relief so I'm not as bloated <laughs> as I was. Oh my gosh. Oh, I felt like I had like a whole like week's worth of meals up in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, my boobs are starting to get a little sensitive, but only like slightly sensitive. Nothing like crazy or outrageous, just slightly sensitive. Um, yeah, um, my clothes are definitely tighter. I'm out of my old pants because they were by to those. Um, we had the weight check today and I've gained like 11 pounds, which is kind of, I think it's a little high considering, you know, I'm 14 weeks today or Saturday, I was 14 weeks. So I think that's a little bit much. Now I did have a subscriber ask me, um, about how I clean my belly button during pregnancy. I know it's a little different and, you know, people do ask questions and, you know, hey, I'll let them know. Um, but when I'm in the shower, you know, I'll go through and um, I just put like soap on my finger and kind of like rub in there and lift. I used to have some piercings because I know with Kaya, my piercings um, kind of got like a little like infected, even though I haven't had a piercing in there for over 10 years, which is kind of weird. But I guess the hole is still there, so it was getting irritated <clears throat> like as I got further along in the pregnancy. And I'll know that later on in this pregnancy if it'll do the same or not. But I just go through and I just rub in there and I just take my shower head sprayer and I just kind of spray in there to kind of keep it clean. And then I just dry it with my towel um, just to make sure that doesn't get, you know, infected or irritated again like it did with Kaya. Um... Let's see, uh, showering is normal, you know, just hop in that mug, still like my hot water. <laughs> I do use Dr. Bronner's lavender soap, I do like that, um, I just feel clean with that and it keeps my face kind of clear and smooth. Um, I also started using this mask because I started having breakouts right here, just kind of in just like the, the T part. Not so much here, you know, in the T-zone, but just right in here. And then a few little outbreaks here and there. Um, so that really kind of keeps it tame. So it's not so, so like, bleh, got all these pimples popping up everywhere. I do use that for as far as skincare and put my lotion on. Um, and I also I started rubbing my belly with the oil that I use for whenever I do my derma rolling. Um, that uh, vitamin C cellulite oil. It smells like oranges. It smells really good, but I've been saturating my belly with that so I don't get any further um, stretch marks. Hopefully, since I am prone to it, you know, it is what it is if it comes, but you best believe after this baby, I'm gonna be back in there derma rolling and get my stomach back the way it was right before I found out I was pregnant. <laughs> um, so that will, that will start up again after pregnancy. Um, cause I know a lot of people have asked me that too. Hey, are you going to start dermal rolling again? And <clears throat> if you do, can you do it while you're pregnant? I don't suggest doing it while you're pregnant because it is kind of stimulation and I, you kind of want to avoid some stimulation while you are pregnant because you know, you never know. I just don't recommend it and it may absolutely be safe, but that's something that you want to check out with your PCP and make sure that it's something that you can do. But for me personally, I'm not going to do it while I'm pregnant, but I will use the oil and massage my belly. Um, hold that thought and I'll show you what kind of oil I have. All right, so this is the oil that I use. It's by New York Biology, the Ultimate Cosmeceuticals. It's anti-cellulite massage oil. It firms, smooths, and tones. Um, proprietary formula um, targets stubborn cellulite in problem areas such as hips, thighs, buttocks, and abdomen. Um, penetrates skin and tackles unwanted fat cells and I get that um, I do like this it's very smooth and I do apply it after the shower every single time um, and then I'll, I'll apply it in the morning as well I just like feeling very hydrated I hope you guys can see that but this is what I have and I did purchase this on um, Amazon 
but I could show you guys how I put it on since I'm gonna go somewhere here in a little bit I gotta change clothes and get cute because I'm going out with the girls tonight for dinner and I'm excited because I haven't really been able to do anything so I'm bring my mask stay protected and have my sanitizer on my purse but I'm ready to go so I know you guys have been waiting um, you want to see this belly as you can see it has popped out mama or mama has grown we don't know what baby is yet um it will be a surprise we're not going to find out the sex until uh labor so that will be fun so this is the belly here of course i got my mama pants on let me tuck this under there so this is where we're at this is where i'm at right about now of course it doesn't I mean, it looks like I'm a little bigger in the front, but you can't really, really tell until I turn to size. It's like, bam! Um, starting to get my butt back, y'all. <laughs> yep, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to have my butt back. Excited to have my butt back. <laughs> that is a luxury of pregnancy as well as your boobies getting bigger. But yeah, so this is my belly. So what I take is, um, I use my oil and I'll do like three pumps three little small pumps rub it in and I just rub it all over the bump all in it get it nice and then I'll kind of pinch in my belly button kind of tighten that up too because that does get loose too after you have a baby I don't know if you guys know and if it's a first pregnancy for you your belly button does get like kind of weird looking like mine's already starting to pop out but it gets like loose but but yeah, so this is where we're at right about now. So I just rub that in, pull my pants up, pull my shirt down, and boom, call it a day. All right, guys, so I hope you have, you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to our channel for new updates. Um, I will be doing another home update. We're doing Thanksgiving here as well, so I'm gonna try to film some of that on Thursday and get it to you on Friday. I would like to do another update between now and then with my hubs. Um, so I'm hoping we can do like what I have done in the house so far. Just kind of give you like an update. Um, maybe tomorrow or maybe I'll film it tonight and then post it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I know I'm gonna get this out today. Um, my schedule is a little crazy, so I'll do what I can. I will do what I can, but I hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care. Bye.